Hello guys, this is Abhishek Seth from Cochin University of Science and Technology. Today, I will be talking to you about framing. Framing means backing up of data with certain information before sending out. This blue area is the data. We are adding certain information like header, tailor and flags. So this whole thing is called framing. This process of adding data, information to the data is framing. Flag indicates the starting and ending of the frame. Here flag tells the starting and ending of the frame. Header tells the source or destination address as well as the control information. Header tells from where the frame is sent and from where it is to be sent. Trailer tells the erection or detection code. That means every data has a code it tells uh, whether the data is correctly received at the receiver part. Flag, as I told, it tells the starting and ending of the frame. Next, more to byte versus bit stuffing. In this we see there are data is stored in bytes you see data is stored in bytes this data is stored in bits it is machine language that is the difference between byte and bit oriented protocols next we move on to byte stuffing in this we see uh, byte stuffing is the process of adding extra byte whether there is an escape or a flag character in the data. Here as you see there is flag and escape character. So what we do is add an extra byte say escape. So when the control moves from here it finds the escapes uh, bit and it escapes the next byte. That means from here it goes directly to here. And again it goes from here to direct to here. So for that escape bit is added. This is the sending part. This is the receiving part. That is sent and that is received in the same fashion. Next we move on to byte stuffing. It is a process of adding extra bit to ensure flag sequence does not repeat. Here we see 0, 1, 1, 1, 6, 1 and 0. So in order not to repeat the sequence, we add an extra bit, say 0 bit. Same in the case of escape and byte stuffing. We added an extra bit and the data is received in the same fashion. Next, flow and error control. Flow control means it is a set of procedures that tells the sender how much of data and we send before waiting for the acknowledgement. That means receiver sends an acknowledgement to the sender that is it has received the data. So flow controls tell how much of how many number of frames can be sent to the receiver before sending the next data. Next error control it includes error detection and correction. It allows receiver to send information of the lost and duplicate frames. Here Q means auto repeat request. It tells uh, how many times it has to repeat sending. If a frame is lost or uh, a frame acknowledgement is lost or acknowledgement is delayed it tells how much how many times it has to repeat. Next we move on to protocols, data link protocols. There are two types, one is noiseless channel, another one is noisy channel. Noiseless channel is divided into two, simplest and stop and wait. This video we will be talking about simplest. In next video we will be talking about noise and wait in the rest of the protocols. In the noiseless channel we take two assumptions, error free and there is no need of error control. From this, the sender sends data from network left 
data link lab, then to physical lab. Then we see the data is sent. The physical lab receives it, then sends to data link lab, then sends to network lab, and the same data is received from sender to receiver. The only thing is that there is no acknowledgement, so there are chances for error. Since it is noiseless channel, we have assumed that there will be no error. There are certain sets of protocols, as you can see. This is a simple program to sender and receiver. Here we see the sender sends the frame, the receiver receives it. Then it triggers to another frame, then it receives it. it triggers to another frame, and it receives it. Only disadvantage is if the frame is lost somewhere over here, it does not reach that frame is lost forever. Next, we'll see in next video. Till then, stay tuned. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any doubts. Thank you.